Sound 34 right now, a special member of the Fox family just showed up and showed out last week. Fox 29's Philadelphia's Alex Holly dressed up like Beyonce ahead of the concert there in Philly and put on quite the show herself. Take a look. America, America has a problem. Gotta have that all important fan. Alex is here with us this morning. Alex, I love that Mike and Thomas joined you for that too. <laughs> hey, Chicago. Hey, Terrence. <laughs> How did you guys get that all together? Did you do it before the show? Did you record it before? Or did you only have like minutes to change? Honey, that was live TV, and that was part <laughs> of the stress. <laughs> and it, my nerves were like really shot because I'm like, oh gosh, I have to get this right. I can't have the beehive mad at me. I have to get this together. So I am the morning anchor here in Philadelphia, so I anchor from 6 to 10 a.m. here. So basically, I had to change out of my typical anchor clothes. I had 15 minutes to really convert and change into Beyonce and then get back out there, remember the dance, and get it all <laughs> together on live TV. You only have one shot. One shot to get it right. Well, you, you certainly, it paid off. The effort paid off indeed. It should cost a billion dollars to look that good. Uh, you went to the show, too, in Philly, right? How was it? I have to say, it really was an honor that she chose Philadelphia to kick off the U.S. leg of her tour, and it was amazing. I mean, the, even though we don't have the visuals, <laughs> it was amazing <laughs> to see her do her thing. It's an all-encompassing experience from the fans and how everyone dresses up to her vocals. The mic is on, and yes. also the lighting, the dancers. I mean, you really feel a part of the renaissance, and it is amazing. You guys are in for a treat. I wish, can I come? You got an extra hey, ticket? Hey, you can Maybe come. Maybe I'll come to Chicago. You can come. I'm going Saturday with my sister. You're more than welcome to join us. Um, <laughs> she recently said, too, at uh, one of her recent concerts, she said the fans are the visual. So I'm thinking some of us might end up in the music video. So what did you wear to the show? Did you take months to plan your outfit for the show? <laughs> well, I spent most of my time trying to be her so I, I had to get the Beyonce <laughs> wig. We, that dress was custom made. So that was where most of my effort went. Um, so once I survived the show and doing that on live TV, I kind of went for a more relaxed look. So I did like metallic shorts. Um, I did a little crop top with um, a sheer top over. And that's what a lot of people did. A lot of silver, a lot of mm -hmm. metallics, a lot of sheer. And I wore tennis shoes. Now, I will say I saw a lot of people wearing heels, but I was like, no, I want to make sure I'm all in. My feet can't start hurting halfway through. I need to make sure I can stand the whole time and dance. So I decided to put on my Ivy Parks, <laughs> and I wore that. And I, I'm glad I did. But I did see a lot of people in heels, and I guess they wanted to suffer for Queen B. Oh, yeah. And good thing you didn't have on any cheap spandex, because Uncle Johnny would have been disappointed. <laughs> um, yeah. She looks a mess. <laughs> Any advice for people who head out? Like, when's the worst time to go to the bathroom, the best time to go to the bathroom? I know when she sings energy and she says mute, I need the crowd to go mute here in Chicago. It's an instruction, yes. right? Yes, you have to go on mute. And she'll look at you. She'll do that. I think that my best advice is, and I was really surprised by this, is bring a sign. Because I thought, oh, I don't uh -huh. know if I'm going to do a sign. But she asked for it. At the beginning of the stop in Philly, she said, who has signs? Put them up. Let me see. Talk to me. Let me see what you have to say. And she encouraged that. And she responded to people. She gave birthday shout outs. And I think you've seen some videos. She's helped pick wedding songs. She's done gender mm -hmm. reveals. So I was really kind of disappointed. And I wish I'd brought a sign so she could interact <laughs> with me. That's if you're close enough. I wasn't in Club Renaissance. But um, comfortable shoes. And who's going to the bathroom during Beyonce? You better hold right, it exactly. or wear a diaper or something. Get, Get some it depends. together because you can't miss it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and nobody will know. We understand. Exactly. So I made sure to go right before she started because the show time starts. She didn't exactly start on time. Okay. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go at the last second so I can make sure I'm cleared out so I can be ready to be all in for the duration of the show. Yeah, her team's really good at updating her when most of the fans have showed up because she likes to wait until she knows a good number of people are sitting in their seats. Alex, always fantastic to see you. You're more Cancun. I'm, I'm Sandra Pay. Appreciate your time this morning. <laughs> Thank you for having me. It's so great talking to you guys. Have fun in the Renaissance world. I shall, I shall. We'll be right back, everyone. <laughs>
America, America has a problem. 